In today's video, I'd like to do a review of my newest toy, my newest piece of equipment that I'm really excited about. It's made by Orange Mud and it's called the Hydra Quiver Vest Pack 2 2.0. Uh, before I get into it, I'll give a brief background on what's led me to this point, what I've used and why I've used it, uh, just to give you an idea of um, what makes me so excited. So going into my running, um, it started small. I didn't always run ultra marathons and Ironman. Um, it started with 5Ks, things like that. And I needed something simple and easy uh, to carry my hydration so of course I started off with something like this pretty common pretty inexpensive holds um, eight ounces in each bottle or ten ounces in this case um, and then as runs got longer and longer I needed more more um, hydration so I evolved to something like this and it holds about the same per bottle and as you can tell it kind of looks a little bit more bulky so maybe it starts bouncing around a little more but i can still carry whatever hydration i needed and i can still have a little bit of room for um, nutrition or keys or something and so that was okay for one race but i really didn't like it and I wanted to, to beef up what I could carry because I was running through the trails and I was running um, long road runs and I ended up getting something like this, which served a, a very good purpose for a while. You can see it carries two full 20 ounce bottles. It's got a lot of storage. It's got these nice um, big fat um, straps for around my waist. And that was great until I started running 100 miles at a time and 50 miles at a time and um, just running for hours and hours, these waste packs really started to put pressure on my stomach and my bladder. And that was kind of the catch. I didn't really like backpacks or those bladder um, backpacks because I'm an abnormally high sweater and I live and train in Florida, so that's a double whammy. And your back is a really big flat surface that your body uses to radiate heat. So if you can keep your back open, keep sweat wicking away from your back and get some air on it, it helps regulate your body temperature. Uh, but the problem with those packs is as soon as I put it on I could feel myself start sweating and I really didn't like it because Dehydration is a really big issue down here, especially with me. So after my my two 100 plus ultra marathons, I really wanted to to finally make an investment in something that I know I would use and be happy with and I did a little research and I found this pack from Orange Mud. I've seen them all over my social media and, and the ads, so I decided I would give it a good look. And um, it's a little higher price point than what I was used to paying. Uh, that's another thing I pride myself on being really, really cheap and doing things on a budget. Um, but really I put price aside and thought about really what I really wanted as far as quality, something that's going to last a long time, something that fits my needs to a T. And I've been running in this for about a month now. I've gone on some quicker road runs and I've been on the trail. I just went out for a 20 mile run on the trails and this is the best fitting pack that I've ever I've ever worn and I'll never go back and I'll I'll show you a couple reasons why um, first thing they give you instructions on the website how to size it up and after it's all sized up it's nice and snug and it still goes on very easily just like that and it's got um, 
these are firm straps under here under your armpits and these are elastic here and so I just snug these up a little bit clip them in and I'm good to go it's comfortable it doesn't bounce around uh, like I said when I'm on those road runs kind of striding out going a little faster it doesn't move around when I'm on the trail uh, a little bit more up and down with my feet and bouncing a little bit nothing moves around nothing bounces and probably my favorite part of it it comes with with their own bottles too is just how easy it is to deploy and put away the water bottles it's just like that that easy it doesn't bounce around it sits as you can see it sits really high up on my shoulders which i like which makes it super easy to get everything and put it away and it also, you can see a lot of my back is open up to the air. So I can stay really cool, sweat can wick away. And um, on top of the feel of it and the fit of it, um, from a design standpoint, it's, it's exactly what I needed. Um, and it's got a lot of storage. Um, my phone's recording or else I'd show you I have um, an iPhone 10x max so and it'll still fit in this pocket and I still have plenty of room in this pocket for keys snacks toilet paper for out on the trails um, and then it's also got a couple little fun little pack um, little storage pockets here on the shoulders that you can put some gels in or I put my keys up in here and, and wrap them up in a face mask if I need it for later on and it keeps them from jingling around. Um, so it's got a lot of great little storage. Everything's so easy to deploy. Once I put my phone in here, I just pull the little elastic strap and tighten it up, tuck it in, and I'm good to go. Uh, it's got some adjustability. You can raise and lower these straps. So from a design standpoint um, and an engineering standpoint this thing is perfect i have absolutely zero complaints about it and i've never been happier with it with any kind of pack and on top of the pack they're bottles uh, i'll probably only go to orange mud for any of my hydrate hydration bottles anymore either because it's got Right here on the cap, you can see it's got a nice rubberized cap. It's not just plastic on plastic, so it seals up. And it's got the perfect amount of squish. So it's not so stiff that you really have to crank on it to get some water out of it. And it's not so flimsy that you just squeeze it down and get a face full of water or Gatorade. Everything seals up really nicely. And um, the texture on it because the texture on it, whenever I put it in my pack, it doesn't fall out. It, you can lean forward, it doesn't slide out. You can run around, it doesn't jostle around once everything's all um, adjusted to where you need it. Um, just a neat little feature, it's got a little safety whistle on it. It's pretty loud. So if you ever get lost or separated from your friends or if you need help, Heaven forbid, um, you've got a way to notify some people. And another thing that I like about it, I haven't tried this yet, but this is a stretchy strap back here. I have seen on their videos where if you wanna carry even more hydration, this is, when they're totally full, it's 40, 44 ounces of water, which is a lot but you can strap in another single bottle holder that they sell and it attaches right into here. Um, and I'm also gonna give it a try and see if I can put my trekking poles in here. Uh, I used trekking poles on my last 116 mile ultra. And in case I ever wanted to put them away, I'll see if they can fit in here without flopping around too much. And if that doesn't work, I did see that they sell specific straps on their website to where you can put in your trekking poles 
and attach it. So this thing's got so much adjustability. It's minimal, but it holds so much. Um, the way it's built is very sturdy. You can feel it's very good quality materials and very well put together. All the stitching is nice and heavy. It's got everything's, even the padding is breathable and soft. So I'm really excited about this. I'll be running on a 50K trail run in a couple weeks where I'll be wearing it. And I'm really looking forward to another one of my 100 mile ultra marathons in it. So I'll keep you posted. If I find out any new cool little tips and tricks that I pick up from it. But other than that, I uh, just wanted to share how excited I am. And um, I would really encourage anybody that's looking to step up the, their um, hydration carrying. And um, if you go hiking or long distance, they have a lot of good stuff for short distance. They've got handheld water bottles and everything seems to be um, the same quality and um, it looks great too. I love the hot pink. I had to have that as soon as I saw it and uh, I encourage everybody to go check it out. Thanks.